I don't remember ever not having OCD, so it was just really normal. I've had lots of different obsessions, but I suppose the primary one that has always come back to haunt me is that I'm a bad person. Feeling like you're a bad person because you said the wrong thing, or you looked in the wrong direction, or you walked the wrong way, or you stood the wrong way, or you smelt in a way that you weren't aware of. And I would categorize things by letters, the letter being the first letter of whatever word it was that I'd done bad. So if my stomach had rumbled, the letter might be S, and I would put that on a big list of, that could end up with hundreds of letters a day. After a while, I started actually physically writing them down and ended up with sort of volumes and volumes of paper. All of my thoughts had to be done in three, so if I thought I'd done something that was really wrong, I would have to work out the reason why it wasn't wrong and repeat it three times. I also had mottos that I would say over and over and in my head three times, in the end it's all done, in the end it's all done, in the end it's all done. So the repetition of things in threes was quite important because when I had done something three times, it felt like a sort of blanket being wrapped around you and like everything was okay, which is why people often say, well, what's wrong with it? If it, if it makes you feel okay, then what's so bad about it? But the problem is you can't live your life saying over and over again, in the end it's all done, it's, in the end it's all done, in the end it's all done, because you won't get anything else done. Because I used to say every day, today I won't do anything bad, because I did all the bad things yesterday and I've learned from them by thinking about them. But of course I would within like 10 to 30 seconds and then I say, it's okay, one bad thing doesn't ruin the day. And then I'd say, actually it does, and just give up. It was a constant conversation. It was never quiet. I guess you could say it was like listening to three different radio stations at once. I thought everyone did this stuff. I thought that was how the human brain worked. When I sort of became 14, 15, I realized that everyone can't be thinking like this because they wouldn't be able to function properly. And at that point, I did feel completely alone and like I'd been given a broken brain. I used to think of myself like a sort of iPhone that had been set with the wrong settings. It was the ultimate loneliness. It was like being a different species to everyone else. If you were to line up stuff just because you liked having a tidy office, no, that's definitely not OCD. The key thing is, does it cause you massive distress? And if you don't do it, will something really awful happen? That's what makes it OCD. It's only now that I'm better that I realise quite how awful it, it actually was. But I don't think I would have appreciated and enjoyed the things I do in life. I can take time now and just sit and enjoy doing an activity. And that's really great. <laughs>